Hey guys, take a minute to video if you guys in today's video will show you how to fix the issue if your Wi-Fi is not working on your iPhone or you can't connect to the internet or if you can't reach a certain website on your iPhone. So let's get started. So first thing is whenever you're troubleshooting, the step is make sure that of course your router and the modem are working. If you have that, you might have two pieces or one pieces. Make sure the lights are on. That's generally a good way to make sure that that is working itself. The other thing to check is that if you're having the issue on one iPhone, let's say you're trying to connect it, Verify the internet you have is actually working, like the Wi-Fi itself, by connecting to maybe a laptop, if it's your connection working, maybe even an iPad or another phone or someone else's device, just to verify that your Wi-Fi is working. And if for some reason your Wi-Fi isn't working, you might need to start troubleshooting your Wi-Fi and it might not be your iPhone. In that case, generally, you see should see lights on on your router or modem, like green, that's generally good. The other thing you can also do if no one can connect to the Wi-Fi is always can use this reset option to press it and it'll reset it which most router have that option in the back somewhere so contact or look at the manual for your modem and router to see how you can perform a reset and after that also try to contact your uh, of course your internet provider if it's an issue and they may be able to help so once you know that your internet connection is good and it's the iPhone now you isolated the solution it's time to troubleshoot the iPhone itself so the next thing you want to do when you're troubleshooting the iPhone is simply pull down the menu up here from the top here and we're gonna turn on airplane mode for a moment just give it a second and turn it back off and what that does is a quick network refresh any sort of network related issue will be resolved including the Wi-Fi itself along with that is if you see that button here if you can also try to turn on and off and then go into your settings now this time in your settings you're gonna look for Wi-Fi here let's say maybe you're connected here or it says no internet connection you're gonna press on that eye icon here and simply go ahead and forget that network so you're gonna click on forget network that way it removes the existing password and connection to it and go ahead and try to reconnect again and once you reconnect go ahead and enter your password so I'm going to enter my Wi-Fi password here alrighty so once you enter your Wi-Fi password simply go ahead and hit that join option let it go ahead and join just like that and you should now be able to get connected and should have not issue now if you're seeing there's a no connection here as you can see one more time you're gonna go ahead and try that one more time just to make sure that it is working so let's say you're still having issues and you need to go ahead and try to fix it the next thing you want to do is force restart of your phone so how can you do a force restart so in order to do a force restart on your iPhone you're gonna press and release the volume up and then press and release the volume down and then hold this big side but on the right hand side until the screen goes completely black and you see the Apple logo reappear and then you let go of that button so in real time volume up volume down and then I'm gonna hold that side button just like that and as you can see as I'm holding here I'm just gonna keep on holding I'm not gonna slide to power off because that will be just a normal shutdown I wanna force restart and when I see the Apple logo reappear again on the screen just like that I let go of it and again this method will just make sure the phone reloads the code fixes any minor software related issue or bug that may be preventing you from connecting to the internet now it will not delete any photos videos apps any of your personal data on your phone so don't have to worry about that and once you're back in go ahead and put in your passcode just like that and hopefully by now you can go into settings and look for the Wi-Fi connection and hopefully you can get connected to your Wi-Fi now if you're still having the issue the next thing you want to do is go into settings again and this time if you click on screen time and then look for content and privacy restriction in this case if you go over here where there's content and privacy restriction, if this is on it's a good way to just turn it off just to check if that's not interfering with your Wi-Fi connection and go ahead and try to connect to your Wi-Fi one more time now if you're still having the issue the next thing you want to check is in the, in the settings is go to general and then once you go in general you want to check for BPN and device management you're going to click on that and if you're connected to a BPN which unfortunately we're not here if you connect to it right turn off the uh, BPN for a moment and see if you can connect to it sometimes BPN connection can interfere with you trying to connect to Wi-Fi as well and now if you're still having the issue after doing all that the next thing you want to do is go into settings and then you're gonna go to general and then go all the way down here where it says 
transfer or reset iPhone. We're going to click on that and then we're going to click on the first reset option. And the reset that we want to do is the second one where it is in reset network setting. But before you click on it, basically what a network resetting will do is it will really it will delete all the Wi-Fi connection you ever had saved, uh, other VPN settings, things like that, which again, you need to do if you're troubleshooting the Wi-Fi and can't connect. It won't delete any personal data or anything like that. And once you click on it, it should take about a minute or two, but just for the sake of our video, we're not gonna do that. But be mind that it is the way to do it if you're gonna have the issue. Now, if you have done that and still can't connect, it's time to probably update your phone to make sure that it isn't the previous software update that broke the phone's Wi-Fi connection. And if there's an update available, go into settings, general, software update, and see if it's checking for update. It should check for update, and if there's an update available, it will say download and install. But remember, uh, if you're having this issue with your Wi-Fi, you want to make sure you have cellular data turned on because you won't be able to get the update, of course, if your Wi-Fi isn't going on. It's just going to spin like that. In that case, if it's uh, turn off the Wi-Fi, making sure that you're on Bluetooth, and then you'll click on download and install and install the update. So hopefully by now your Wi-Fi issue is resolved. If so, please make sure that like and subscribe. And also we want to hear from you guys which of the solutions help, or if you found a better way to fix this Wi-Fi connection issue on your phone, leave a comment in the comment section. And thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.